The Autodesk Validation Tool lets you create tasks to automatically check your Autodesk Construction Cloud or BIM 360 project hosted Revit models. Once a check is run, you can view the results in the report section of the validation tool itself. In a previous video, we talked about creating tasks and managing tasks in the task section of the validation tool. This is where the detail of the task is defined. Every time you run a task, you can see the results in the reports. In reports, you'll be able to see all the checks that have been run. There is a filter option where you can filter the reports by name or date. You can also use the search field and start typing in a search, for example, mechanical, to filter down just to the mechanical reports. There's a refresh option that will immediately refresh all the reports. The columns themselves are pretty self-explanatory. The first one is the name of the task. It tells me what model was used in the task in the next column. The first two are part of the same task but have multiple models, so I get two reports. The next one is when the task was run. There is a summary column. If you're familiar with the model checker, this is the same summary that you'll get at the top of the report inside of the model checker. It also tells me the duration it took to run the check. And finally, if you like to view the report, there's a view button on the, on the far right side. In addition to the columns, you can select one of the reports by checking the checkbox. When you check the checkbox, you'll have options at the top to either view the report, download the Excel file, or download the full task, or download the HTML file, or download the AVT file, or you can delete the report. If you pick on View Report, this will actually open up the report for you. It's very similar to what you'll see in Model Checker at the top. You have the same download options where you can download the report, either in an Excel file or HTML file. You also get an overall score for the report. You're also getting information as far as the report date, the report path, and the, and the check set file. Um, but as far as the report itself, it's very, very similar as far as the layout inside of Model Checker. Um, I can drill down and pick on the model performance, project settings. Depending on which report you've run, you'll get different options here. Um, but you can drill down and uh, examine whatever you'd like to examine there. So overall, the report section of the validation tool allows you to uh, see all the reports that have been run. And you can manage that on the report tab inside the Autodesk validation tools.